Hello everyone, this is Dr. Purvi Chavla at Diabetica RSSDI Gujarat Chapter Meeting 2024. Uh, so I spoke on uh, newer small molecule or non-peptide oral GLP-1 receptor agonist. I can tell you this itself is a very exciting topic because it ushers in a new era of innovation. Uh, basically, you've seen that so far GLP-1 receptor agonists, whether every day or once weekly, have been injectable. And then a few years back, we had the game-changing oral peptide GLP-1 receptor agonists being introduced. However, obvious limitations of cost, availability, as well as uh, the dosing specifications uh, have been uh, obvious limitations to uh, increase use. And with these smaller non-peptide molecules of GLP-1, which can be given orally also at any time of the day with or without food and will not be very costly to manufacture and can be easily made available uh, are the new uh, drugs on the market or uh, on the clinical development landscape. And there are two such ones which are advanced in clinical development. One is Orphangipron from Lilly and the other is a Pfizer molecule called Danugipron. They are a bit of a tongue twister but uh, really they, the half-life is such that it allows once or twice daily dosing will be given orally and the adverse effects uh, so seen so far in the phase 2 trials have been very consistent with the GLP-1 receptor agonists that we are already experienced with. They are mild in nature, uh, moderate to uh, just uh, in, in the initial uh, starting uh, phase of the molecule uh, therapy but uh, they do not last longer. So such side effects can be handled with easily and they are showing very, very robust decrease in HbA1c as well as in weight, more than 10% of baseline body weight reduction in patients with diabetes and also in those with obesity overweight. So these are the new era molecules that we are waiting for. Uh, Orphogliprone is in phase 3. And the phase 3 of Danugipron uh, should be initiated soon. So we await these molecules and this exciting new era which will help us tackle with diabetes, obesity and a whole range of metabolic conditions that come with. Thank you so much.